Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, we are doing a foundation review, wear test, comparison, whatever you want to call it. I really love filming these. They're so fun. But I told you guys in my Sephora haul, which I will link down below, that I wanted to do a wear test of the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better foundation and skincare. I always love when It comes out with a new foundation. I don't know why. I just feel like so many people also love their complexion products. So I picked this up. There's been a lot of reviews on this already. So I I decided to mix it up a little and we're gonna do a comparison between the OG Your Skin But Better CC Cream. So if you want to see who wins this battle, what's better, the differences between them, then just keep watching. Alright, so while I was waiting for my hair to dry, when I got out of the shower, I took notes. So the reason why I decided to compare these is because they both are your skin but better. Of course, we have the original CC cream. This has been around four years. And then we have the your skin but better foundation. So this is supposed to be a foundation. This one is brand new. You can purchase it basically everywhere. I got mine from Sephora. I have the little mini sizes of these because I like to mix shades. I feel like they just don't have my perfect shade in their line for this and that the undertone's a little bit gray on me. I mix light and medium. I got mine in the shade medium neutral 31. Both of these guys are 39.50. This foundation has one fluid ounce. The original full size CC cream is going to have 1.08 fluid ounce. So you get just a tiny little it'll bittle bit of more product from this, but hardly any difference. So they're about the same. The shade range is really what's different. So the CC cream only has 14 shades, whereas this baby has 40 shades, which is really awesome. I got so lucky with choosing my shade. This actually is a really perfect shade for me. So I'm gonna do some quick swatch comparisons so that you can see the differences in shades. Shade. So just so that you can see consistency as well, the foundation is a bit thinner and more liquidy. So this is the foundation in medium neutral. This is the light in the CC cream and this is the medium in the CC cream. So let me blend them out. So as I'm blending them out on my hand, they're definitely a different consistency. The CC cream is a little bit thicker. I'm gonna give these a second to dry on my hand just so you can see how they sit. I'm not gonna use face primer today. I just have the Mamond Floral hydro cream it has my moisturizer that I just applied so while this is drying to prep my skin I just used a moisturizer I'm not going in with primer today so I'm using the Mamond floral hydro cream this I just kind of keep by my makeup station if I want to use a moisturizer all right so as it sits the foundation in medium CC cream and light CC cream and medium honestly I almost feel like this is the perfect mix between these two but that's how the shades are so let's go into the claims that are different first and foremost a big claim of the CC cream is I mean SPF 50 it's not a claim this has SPF 50 in it this does not have any SPF in it so the CC cream it's very interesting this says it's full coverage it's not full coverage but this claims to be full coverage you really can't have a foundation that's full coverage with only 14 shades that just doesn't make sense but this guy only claims to have a medium coverage which I agree with I've worn this a few times so I have experience with this foundation I've just never done a side by side but this definitely has a lighter side of medium coverage it doesn't build up to anything past the medium full coverage this one says it has a natural finish this one says it has a natural radiant finish and a big claim of this one is how lightweight it is and that your skin is supposed to look better in two weeks because of the skincare ingredients in here whereas the CC cream this one advertises more so as anti-aging which is what they kind of use the sunscreen for and the vitamins that they put in here. Both claim to be extremely hydrating on the skin, which I love. I do have a normal to dry skin type. Right now, it's a little bit more normal that I'm in the house. I'm constantly moisturizing. In the winter, I definitely can get a little bit dry if I don't take care of my skin. And then taking a look at the ingredients, the list of ingredients on the CC cream is much longer. The list of ingredients for the foundation is is a lot more condensed but the key ingredients that they highlight which I mean you can't really trust it because they will 
put in a tiny, tiny little bit of a special ingredient and say it's a key ingredient. But anyway, so in this one, well, hyaluronic acid, aloe vera extract, vitamin E and B5, and hepis acid. Sorry, I don't know how to pronounce that. And then here, they do collagen, peptides, niacin, and antioxidants. I think CC cream is more so marketing towards more mature women. And this one seems to be just like a lightweight everyday, not so mature women targeted audience. Okay, so let's just get into it. Facts out of the way. So I'm gonna start off with the classic CC cream. And like I said, I mean, I've had the CC cream for a while. I'm very familiar with how it applies. And the foundation I've worn probably four times now. So I think I'm quite knowledgeable on both of the products, but I am curious to see how they pair up side by side. So, I mean, I said this earlier, but definitely a thicker consistency on the CC side. And I'm just gonna pat this in. This is how I apply all of my foundations. So that's one layer of the CC. Let's do a layer of the foundation now. I mean, see how much easier this is like spreading on the skin because of its more liquidy consistency. And I'm gonna use the bottom of this sponge pop that in. Okay, so comparing side by side one initial layer, I feel like the side with the foundation is looking a little bit more smooth and a little bit more hydrated. I just feel like it blended into the skin better. The side of the CC cream, I feel like it looks more natural. I feel like there's also a little bit less coverage on the side with the CC cream and it's emphasizing pores just a touch more. Don't get me wrong, you guys, I do really like the CC cream. This is just what I'm noticing side by side. So I'm applying a second layer of the CC cream. You see, I feel like the thing with the CC cream that I don't like is I feel like the undertones are so gray. I'm applying a second layer and I want to focus it on kind of the cheek area. You see how this claims to be full coverage? It's not. It's like a medium natural coverage. Okay, and then now we're going to do just a layer of the foundation. I do feel like I need less product with the foundation and it's a little bit easier to build and it looks, it builds a little better. All right, you guys. So I don't know if you can see any difference between, but I think the side with the foundation has a little bit more of a natural finish. I think it smooths the skin a little bit better. The CC cream side though, it's reflecting the light a little bit more. That could be a good thing or a bad thing, but I just notice it is reflecting the light a little bit more, but not necessarily in a flattering way because I can see my pores a little bit more and the coverage built up a little bit better on the foundation side. Honestly, for the CC cream claiming it has full coverage, I feel like the foundation side actually has more coverage, but it still is like a medium coverage foundation. I'm gonna let the foundation settle in. I'm gonna finish the rest of my face and I will be back to update you as makeup and products get put on top. All right, you guys. So I was just filming my new Charlotte Tilbury product first impressions. That video will be up soon if it's not already. Notable things that I did, I I use Makeup Revolution concealer and I use a little bit of the Too Faced Born This Way translucent powder to set the center of my face and then I just went in with powder blush bronzer and highlight over top. So when it came to my cheeks, it's harder to tell now because I put blush over top, but there was definitely more redness peeking through on the CC side. And I would say I've had the makeup on for about 30 to 45 minutes now. So everything has had a time to settle in and I I just think the side of the foundation looks smoother, it looks more natural, my skin just looks better as opposed to the CC side. Not saying the CC side looks bad, it doesn't, but I just look more perfected on the foundation side. So get a closer look. I do have one breakout here and no breakouts on this side. So just keep that in mind. Take a look at the forehead. As per usual at this point in the process, when you put the products on top, it is harder to tell a difference between the two sides. I will check in in a couple of hours to see how we're doing. Hi guys, so it is about 4.30. So I've had the foundations on for about four hours now, the half point check mark. I look a mess, I just got out of a meeting. But yeah, let's get a little bit closer, see if you can tell a difference. This side is definitely looking better now that my oils have started to come through. I would argue that this side 
is actually a little bit more oily and slight extra indentation where my smile lines are but very faint more so than this side I do still think that this side just looks better it looks smoother it looks more natural but both of the foundations are holding up quite well I have thrown on a mask a couple times not for long periods of time but thrown them on to like go out really quickly and this side the CC cream did transfer a tiny bit nothing bad but I didn't get any transferring from here but keep in mind it was for like five minutes I had it on if even that so so far both foundations are looking great I do prefer the actual foundation side but I will be back Back in four more hours to do my final update. All right, so it is about 7.30. I'm ready to just get the makeup off of my face. But I did want to do one final check-in for you guys. I mean, as you probably already know, I do prefer the foundation side. They came out with a foundation, in my opinion, that tops their OG bestseller. I think it's held on better throughout the day. The coverage is better. It's smoother. It looks more natural. And I don't want to sound like I'm dissing the CC cream. I still like the CC cream, but they just did it better with the foundation in my opinion. The only time I would say maybe the CC cream would be more appropriate is maybe if you like a little bit of a lighter coverage or you're looking for the SPF properties that the foundation doesn't have, but there's really no difference if you just put foundation underneath in my opinion. You should be doing that anyways. So you'll still have SPF if you do apply a foundation before you apply the product. I mean, all in all, I just think that the foundation is better. I think that this foundation would be pretty good for all skin types. Of course, I can't speak for oily skin. I don't have oily skin, but I do think it's a pretty well-rounded foundation that should work with a lot of different skin types. Even like it's held the coverage also better throughout the day. Whereas I feel like you can see my imperfections starting to come through. There's a little bit of fading here. This pretty much stayed pretty intact coverage-wise throughout the day. So my final thoughts on this product. I really am loving the Your Skin But Better foundation. I've worn it like I said like five times it doesn't break my skin out it wears very well it feels very comfortable and this has become one of my new go-to foundations as far as everyday wear I am going to continue using it I like it it's really reliable it kind of reminds me of the new ColourPop liquid foundation but I think this is better just my opinion. Okay, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it helpful. If you aren't subscribed to my channel already, I would love it if you would consider taking the time to do so, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.